Hey Marshalls, I hope you're having a great day. Now let's get on with the news. You can now design and order your official Marshall County High School letter jacket. On November 17th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., band members, qualifying clubs, and all four fall sports athletes can come try on different size letter jackets to make sure you have the correct fit. Visit the Johnson's website 24-7 at your convenience to place your order. There will be a career fair for sophomores, juniors, and seniors on Friday. There will be over 30 careers at this career fair. There will be an opportunity to ask questions, explore new career opportunities, and meet future employers. Be ready to ask questions and explore many different careers. If you don't feel confident on your score from testing in November, you can now sign up for the December 9th ACT. If you sign up for this ACT test, you automatically get a free retake in the spring. This could be the key to maximizing your super score, enhancing college applications, and unlocking scholarship opportunities. I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. I wonder what's for lunch. Blake? Hey, today for lunch is pepperoni pizza or cheesy bread, and tomorrow's breakfast is apple cinnamon Texas toast. Have a great day. Care Solis is partnered up with Marshall County to provide mental health and substance use coordination for students, staff, and their families. They can connect you with different providers and services. It's free of cost and there are multiple ways to connect. You can call the number on screen and talk to a care companion. You can also search anonymously to get matched by scanning the QR code and you can contact a school health care professional and they will submit a referral for you. Our first semester is a handful of weeks away from ending. And our word of the week is a way to feel if you're stressed about grades. This word of the week is sanguine. This word is an adjective and means optimistic or positive, especially in an apparently bad or difficult situation. Active volcanoes are rare in Australia because there are no plate boundaries on this continent. However, there are two active volcanoes located 4,000 kilometers southwest of Perth on Australia territories, Heard Island and the nearby McDonnell Islands. The cafeteria is now offering new coffee flavors. Here's some more information with Miss Judy on what's in store. Hello, we're excited to announce that we're gonna start doing seasonal flavors for our coffee. Um, this month in November, we're doing our pumpkin spice. For December, we're gonna do the candy cane wonderland. For January, we're gonna do the toasted marshmallow. For Valentine's Day, we're going to do a chocolate-covered strawberry. For March, for St. Patrick's, we're going to do a mint chocolate chip. And then for April and May, we're going to do a peach passion. We are super excited to offer this. Um, and I would have to say, I'm looking forward to probably the chocolate-covered cherry the most. Um, and we're excited to see what you guys think about our new flavors. And we are also open to any new suggestions if you guys want to stop by and give us an idea of what flavors you might want for next year. Get ready to laugh your socks off with this one, with this joke of the day with Liberty. Hey guys, let's get started with today's Thanksgiving's joke. Which side of the turkey has more fetters? The outside, haha. <laughs> Students got the opportunity to head down to Paducah to tour the Creative Spark program. Walking around seeing all the amazing work from students who attend the school, they got some inspiration to make their own artwork to take home. This was a great opportunity for our classmates to see what it would be like to be a college student. FFA is selling poinsettias until November 20th and they are $14 each. To order, you can go to Miss Palmieri and any FFA member. All sales go to benefit FFA members and their travel and leadership endeavors. All poinsettias are a 6.5 inch pot with decorative foil cover and an option of six colors that are on the screen. They will be delivered a week after Thanksgiving. Moving on over, we have Danny with sports. What's up, Marshalls? Yesterday, we had three Marshalls sign with colleges. This is a huge accomplishment for these athletes, so make sure you congratulate them on this achievement. We have Chase Hill, who signed with Webster College, Presley Gallimore, who signed with Center College, and last but not least, Madison Morton, who signed with Dyersburg State. 
Moving on over, the basketball boys team played Christian County in a scrimmage this Friday, this past Friday, and won 97 to 54. They play their next game on the 18th. They will be traveling up to Ohio County for their next scrimmage. Over the weekend, the Lady Marshals cheered at the regional tournament this week in McCracken County. Make sure to congratulate them on a great season. And to end off this segment, the Future Business Leaders of America went up to St. Louis for, the, for a fun field trip and went to watch a Blues hockey game. Here are some highlights from that game. This week's album is The Land is Inhospitable and So Are We by Mitski. Mitski is an indie pop and singer-songwriter artist and this is her newest album, released only two months ago. She uses lots of poetry and metaphors in her songwriting and often sings as if she's talking to the listener. This often makes the music very personal and emotional for the people as they listen to her soft, lush style of music. Singles from the album are Bug Like an Angel, Star, Heaven, and My Love, Mine All Mine. My Love, All Mine All Mine as a particular has been one of Mitski's most successful songs to date. The album peaked at number 12 on the U.S. Billboard 200 and the number 2 on the U.S. Billboard Independent, Alternative, and Rock Top albums. As always, a Spotify link to streaming. Speaking of music, we just recently got a single from one of our seniors here at Marshall County High School. Here's some more information with Hayden Powell. Hello, my name's Alex and we're interviewing Hayden Powell today about his newest hit song called Moon. What is it about? So it's kind of just about like appreciation for your best friends and stuff like that. So that's very that's very nice. When did you write this song? So I wrote it about two or three years ago. Um, I vividly remember going home and like I had on the way I was driving home and I had the idea for it. And so I got out my voice memos app and I cannot stand to listen to this recording now, but. Um, yeah, just kind of, you know. So this, is, right. so this has been with you since sophomore year? Yes, yep, around sophomore year. Where can you find the song? You can listen to it on Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, Deezer, Tidal. It's on, it's on a bunch of stuff, so you should go listen to it. You heard that. Thank you very much, Hayden Powell. You know Hayden Powell? Yes. Do you like his new hit song? Yes. What do you like about it? It's awesome. I, whenever I heard it, I was like, wait, my man's making music now? Whenever I figured out that my friends or just high school students here in general started making music like Young Kita, Hayden himself, and other people that have made music, I was like, this seems pretty fun. Like, it seems fun to make music. Hello, I'm Alex. Do you know Hayden Powell? I do know Hayden Powell. Have you heard his recent released song? Yes, I have. What do you think about it? I think it is so awesome, and I think that he has come so far. I mean, you don't really expect things like this to happen in your senior year, so. Do you know Hayden Powell? No, never heard of him. Do you want to listen to his newest hit song? Absolutely. Let the sun steal the lights. I think I still need the Kid, kids got a bright future out there somewhere. Newt, newt. <laughs> How you shine so bright. I could think of the grading term ended yesterday, which means that there are only 19 days left in this semester. Be sure to get all your assignments turned in while they are still being accepted. Last week we had our Veterans Day program here at MCHS. Put together by our leadership class, local veterans talked to the social studies classes about past wars and depressed, dressed as soldier would in that time period. Our history classes were able to see how each war was different and see how the uniform changed over time, as well as learning about our involvement in these wars. If you want to watch the full presentation, it is on our YouTube page. That's all, Marshals. Have a great day.